Hi lovelies. I just got back from a uh, walk and I was thinking while I was out walking about how good I feel for having been walking consistently. So I thought I would give you my three top tips on staying motivated to exercise. Number one, routine. Routine makes a huge difference. So whatever time of day you can fit it in, you've got to work it out. Now, myself and my hubby both want to exercise. So we have to work around each other, the kids, work, all those kinds of things to work out a time that, that is going to work and be possible. Factoring in things like the weather and, um, you know, if it's too hot in the middle of the day, obviously you can't go out for a run or something like that. So if you've got time in the morning, then schedule it in. If you don't have to be home with little kids, if you can go out before work, do it. If you can work out a way to do it in the afternoon or at night, give yourself an hour of your day to factor in exercise because you'll feel really, really good for it. But it's so easy to give it a miss if you don't have that routine locked in. So what we did at the start of this year, well, actually when school went back after the Christmas holidays, I found myself floundering a bit to try and get, you know, dinner on the table, the kids bathed and in their pajamas, homework done and books read at night, lunches made for the next day. It all seemed a bit overwhelming to try and fit exercise into that as well. But with my hubby's help, we made it work. So my hubby gets home, he starts at ridiculous o'clock in the morning, pretty much the middle of the night, starts work. So when he gets home, he gets home a bit earlier. He's usually home, certainly before five or around five most days. So when he gets home, that's his time. So he's got a gym membership and he usually goes to the gym. He either does a box fit class or he goes and does a circuit or lifts weights. Um, so that's his time. And then he's usually home by 6.30, which means we have dinner at 6.30. After dinner, I clean up, I get lunches organized and by 7.30, at the latest really. By 7.30, I'm out the door again for another good walk with Luna. While I'm gone, that's my dog. While I'm gone, Craig organizes the kids to be showered or bathed and in their pajamas. When I get back from our walk, I quickly jump in the shower and then we all sit down by no later than 8.30 to read books together. Toilet teeth, books, bed. So my kids are in bed at 8.30. My kids are eight and six. So 8.30 is bedtime, okay? So we've had to, and then from 8.30, myself and Craig get to wind down a little bit. I mean, Craig doesn't get to stay up very late, unfortunately, because he's got to go to bed early. But at least we get a little bit of downtime and a little bit of us adult time once the kids are sorted. So that's how we make night routines work for us. At the moment, I have the luxury of being able to go for a walk when I drop the kids off at school in the morning as well. So at the moment, I'm doing two walks a day of about 40 minutes each. Um, if I do have to stop that, I can't really, once, if I go back to work, I can't really walk in the morning while they're still at home because I'm not going to leave them home on their own. So it'll be about making the night routine work for us so that I can especially moving into the cooler months, daylight savings will end. So I'll need to get out walking earlier, which might mean that we have dinner a bit earlier, but we've got to make it work. So we'll, we'll rejig our routine depending on the seasons, the weather, what's going on, but you've got to make the time for it. Okay, so that's number one, routine. Second tip is find a reason to walk. Find a reason to exercise. So for me, that's walking. For you, it might be jogging. Um, it might be taking a class of some sort. Find a reason. For me, walking is the easiest thing to do. It's the cheapest. It's the easiest for my fitness level at the moment. And I feel really good for it. 
plus it's a win-win for our dog. So finding a reason to get out and exercise. Well, for me, it's the fact that I've got a dog to walk. If you don't have a dog though, either find a friend or a family member to walk with, or take a pair of headphones and listen to motivating music that you love. Put on some favorite tunes, make it old school, make it new school, make it rock, make it R&B, make it metal, whatever you're into. Put on your favorite music and give yourself a reason to get outside and enjoy listening to that music. Or a podcast. Have a look on the podcasts on your phone and there's so many to choose from, whatever you're interested in. But give yourself that reason to, oh, okay, I get to have an hour now to go out and listen to my favourite podcast or listen to my favourite music or walk my dog or catch up with a friend. Give yourself a reason to make it more enticing. I actually, I recently did a video about my favourite songs to get my bum off the couch and out the door. And since then, with feedback from other people as well, I've put together a whole workout list playlist on my YouTube channel and it's open to the public. So have a look, you might find something in there that inspires you. If not, make your own list. <laughs> but get out there, listen to something good, find a reason to exercise. That's my top second tip. Number three, third tip is, now you're gonna think this is dumb, but it's not, it honestly works. The third tip is, if you have time to exercise in the morning, then the minute you roll out of bed, put on some active wear or exercise gear. First thing you do, put on a pair of leggings, a pair of trackies, some gym pants, some yoga pants, whatever they are, a t-shirt, a hoodie, whatever it is, something comfortable to exercise in, some good socks and a pair of sneakers. Put that on. If you don't have time to exercise in the morning, then the minute you get home from work, go and get changed and put on your active wear. Even if you don't go straight away, you are far more inclined to do the exercise if you're already in the right gear. So just put that on and then talk yourself into going. Because if you're dressed for the occasion, that's the hardest part. That's the first step done. So. They are my top three tips for staying motivated to exercise. If you've got other ones, I'd love to hear them. Let me know down in the comments and uh, give us a like. Subscribe if you haven't. I've got some more recipes coming up. I've just filmed a what I eat in the day video, so that'll be up soon. Welcome if you're new to the channel. It's really nice to see new, new commenters, new likers. Um, I hope I can offer you something from this channel great to have you here and uh, have a wonderful day. See you on the next video. Mwah. Bye.